Hey guys, my name is Avi and welcome back to the Codex. In these next few videos, I'm going to be showing you the power of Python and Flask. Now what is Flask, you might ask? The definition of Wikipedia states that Flask is a micro web framework written in Python. What does that really mean? If I told you that you could create your very own web server and host a website in less than seven lines of code, you might have been amazed. That's the power of Flask. It's light, it's efficient, and in just a few lines of code, you can get your very own website up and running. In 2004, Flask was created as a joke, but actually due to the high demand and popularity, Flask is now ubiquitous throughout the world. Now, I'm going to show you how to create your very own basic Flask website. Today, we're just going to be showing you how to demonstrate Hello World on a website, but in the future videos, I'm going to be showing you the power of databases, templates, a lot of cool things. Let's get started. First thing first, guys, make sure you have an interpreter. I love PyCharm. I definitely recommend it if you're interested in downloading it. It's free. There's a community version. But anyways, inside of PyCharm, we first need to install Flask. So they have a terminal option down over here, and I can use that. Or just pull up terminal in your browser. So there we go. I use iTerm. And over here, guys, we're going to go and install Flask. Now, again, depending on your version of Python, I am, again, using pip3 because I have Python 3. You're going to say pip3 install Flask. All right. So go ahead and do that. Now, if you see these requirements already satisfied, that's because I've already installed Flask. But hey, if this didn't work out for you, try using pip. Pip might work instead of pip3, it might be pip2. Play around with the install and hopefully Flash should get installed on your computer. If you look at the different modules installed, you'll see markup safe, it's dangerous, work zerg, click, jinja, etc. Just know that all these modules are part of Flask. They'll all be beneficial in some way. Anyways, fantastic job. So now we have Flask installed. Let's go ahead and create our very own .py file. I'm going to say new Python file and call this server.py. All right. And over here, we're going to implement our very own website in less than seven lines of code. First thing first, I'm going to say import Flask as Flask. And actually, sorry, let me go ahead and restart this. First thing first, guys, we're going to go ahead and import Flask. And the way we're going to do this is from Flask import Flask. There's a lot of sub modules inside of our Flask module. And the only one we really want is just the Flask for now. In this scenario, once we've imported Flask, we're going to go ahead and initialize our application. So app is going to be equal to we've already imported Flask, so Flask and then pass in name. So this is the general convention for initializing any Flask app. Normally, this will never change. All this line is doing, guys, is creating the application. OK, that's two lines of code. After that comes routing. Now we'll get into routing more in depth in future videos, but go ahead and just type this out for now. App dot route and then the single slash. And all this does is we're saying that, hey, we're creating a route on our server that's just the single slash. So if I go to localhost and nothing else after the localhost, there's what I want to point to. Once we've created our route, we're going to specify what function we want to show. And we're going to run the function in this scenario, home. OK. And inside of our home function, return hello world. So let me explain what this code is doing one more time. What we're all we're saying is we're routing some function. We're saying that, OK. We're routing this home button where it's just a single slash. And the function that we're routing this to is our home function. And all our home function is doing is returning hello world. So if you can guess what this code is going to do is if we just go to our local host, we're going to see hello world display. And now, last but not least, we're going to say if the name of our application is equal to main, which it is, that is convention, main should be with double underscores. There we go. Then we're going to say app dot run. Fantastic. So again, this is seven lines of code, guys, and all this is doing is it's creating a fast server, setting up a simple route, returning what function and what value should be displayed on that route, and then running our application. If you're confused what this is over here, these are underscores. I probably should have made that clear. But now once that's done, guys, go ahead and run this. If you're using PyCharm, it's Control Shift R. If you're using Terminal, then just go to Python 3 and then run server.py. All right, there we go. And over here, we see our app server is now loading, running on 127.0.0.1 colon 5000. Let's go ahead and open this up. It opened on a new window over here. And fantastic. 127.0.0.1 colon 5000. Hello world. Awesome job, guys. That was the first video of our series of Flask and Python. We created our very own Flask website. We displayed Hello World. Hopefully, you see how simple Flask is in order to create websites. And I hope you're excited for future videos. This is Avi. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.